show you um, a couple tips of what we can do with the pop-ups um, for situations like you were describing with on your last snow day. So um, I, first, before we get into those things, I want to quickly try to describe what I didn't describe well in uh, the email. So uh, this is the settings that I'm talking about with the cookie. What a cookie is, is it's just a little packet of information that gets sent and stored on your computer from the server to your computer so that when the website is loaded on your computer, it can remember certain things. So that's how the cookie controls whether the pop-up shows or not because it remembers that you, that you were on the website so that when you like go from page to page to page, it recognizes that cookie that's how it remembers that you have already seen the pop-up so that it doesn't show it to you again because otherwise you'd be you know on the home page of the website and it would pop up and then you'd go to the academics page and it would pop up again and it would keep happening over and over and over and that's what we're trying to prevent because that's pretty uh, irritating for people but the question is, how do you get people to see it again when they need to? That's where it gets a little bit tricky because it, the question becomes, what determines if they need to see it again? So like when you said that you want them to see it again when they come back to the website again, well, that's the part that's a little contextual and hard to understand because like what defines a new session, right? How, if I just load this page, is this a new session? If I wait five minutes after I've seen the pop-up, is that is that a new session? If I close the browser and then open it back up within five minutes and it still remembers what my tabs were and reopens them, is that a new session? Probably, probably not. So browsers don't actually treat that as a new session because um, it, it's just like it resumes where you left off and it assumes that it's a continuation of your previous session. So like a session, wide cookie even with uh, the closing you know recognizing the closing of Chrome and then rebooting it when Chrome gets opened again it doesn't necessarily always work because of Chrome's ability to remember your tabs and restore your session the other problem is no one ever closes Chrome anymore so that doesn't really work because people do you know 80% of their work in their web browser so uh, like expecting them to close it to like reset what controls the pop-up, that's not gonna work. So what we're left with is the ability to make a timer. So the cookie gets set and then it gets set with a particular amount of time and it says for X amount of time after this pop-up has been closed, that's how long we're not gonna show it for. So this is your snow day pop-up and previously it was set to one day this cookie here it was set to one day and that's why people weren't seeing it again when they went back to the website throughout the day on that day I've lowered it to one hour so what that means is someone will see it this will get triggered after the pop-up opens and then after they um, close it again it won't show again for an hour if they come back to the website another time during the day as long as it's past that hour it will pop back up for them. Mostly we just don't want it to show to someone over and over and over during their current time of using the website for like the duration of one sort of visit across the however many pages, which typically is a handful of pages and a handful of minutes. So one hour should be sufficient. The other thing that I wanted to show you in addition to like how you can edit these, because there might be somewhere you just, you know, you're not gonna edit it, they're not gonna need to see it again for that day and you can just set this cookie time to one day. But for the use case where you said that you were like editing this one particular pop-up throughout the day and like, uh, oh, I found a misspelling. Um, so like if you edited this and there was new information and you wanted people, you wanted to force it to show again even to people who had seen it within that hour. The way you would do that is by mod uh, modifying what the name of this cookie is. So uh, you have to do it in two places. You have to do it here 
on the cookie itself and then here on the trigger. You can see that these match their name, but if we edit it, then when the browser loads, it won't, like the cookie that it had loaded that was on that one hour timer, uh, it won't recognize that anymore because it won't match this name. So if you need to force the cookies to basically clear, it's not quite a clear because the old ones still exist, but in, a, in essence, it forces a clear and show the pop-up again, even within the window when it shouldn't, um, you just have to edit this cookie. So let's just say, we'll just change it from 106, 28 to 106, 29. We update it there. And see it had already disappeared from here because we changed it down there. So we just need to reselect that renamed one that we made just like that. I'll do that one more time. So we're gonna just change the name. We'll change that to 30. I'm just adding one update. And then when we go to here, we just have to make it match. So we'll clear that one out. Load this one in, update, and update. And that would uh, cancel this one hour timer, reset it for everybody, and then you know everyone would see that new edit you made. So that's basically it. Hope that is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.